You know, human beings are amazing. We have this incredible ability to create, communicate, learn, and solve problems. Look around you now. So much of what you see has been made by us, humans. We've achieved a lot of great things and some bad, but we are builders, engineers, creators. The surroundings we've created that provide the setting for our day-to-day -day activities are called the built environment. That includes buildings, parks, and green spaces, neighborhoods, and the villages, towns, and cities you live in. Remember that, the built environment. And that includes roads, all the water supply, and energy systems too. The human-made world that helps us live our lives. This is the world you live in. And the people that design every aspect of this world are called architects. From ancient Egypt to the modern day, architects are people who plan, design, and oversee the construction of buildings. They don't work alone though. They work with teams of builders, engineers, scientists, electricians, and plumbers, and also planners and policymakers to decide how our built environment is designed and developed. Now, the world we live in is more at risk than ever before. Incredibly, around 40% of the world's carbon emissions today come from buildings and construction. This is because of two things, all right? One, how much energy we use to run our buildings, like keeping them warm in winter and cooling summer. We call that operational carbon. And two, there's embodied carbon. That's how much carbon we create making buildings, repairing them and demolishing them. And even before construction begins, extracting materials from the ground and turning them into building material uses a lot of heat, energy, and water. Now, the central ingredient of all these buildings is often concrete. That's the gray hard stuff. Concrete is the second most consumed resource on the planet after water. Concrete's so popular because it's inexpensive, hard-wearing, long-lasting, and versatile. But traditionally, cement, a key ingredient in concrete, takes a lot of heat and water to make. Buildings are being made all the time and will need more as the population grows. But carbon emissions directly contribute to climate change. And you've seen the evidence of this, from scorching forest fires across the world to rising sea levels and deadly flash floods across the UK and throughout Europe. Our activities are damaging our world. It's happening now. Something needs to change. The way we live and develop our built environment needs to change. We need to work to solve problems and design sustainable, adaptable, and positive future for us all. The solution isn't easy. There will be lots of challenges and constraints along the way, but we are going to show you just some of the people who are working hard to tackle the built environment's part in the climate crisis. When learning about their work, think about how you would approach these problems. What changes would you make to help build a better future for us all?